Konnichiwa, champs and champettes. My name is Fire Monkey, and you know the drill. Today's video is going to be your daily dose of news in the Fortnite community that you may or may not have heard about yet. Today's topics range from tons of free rewards headed your way in Fortnite for simply logging in, um, the dates for upcoming concerts, skin release dates, and much, much more. So strap in your seatbelts and let's go for a ride. Our first stop is the Summer Legends Bundle. Grab your tropical drink, apply some suntan lotion, and sport your favorite sunnies because it's time to chill with the Summer Legends. This bundle will be fully released within the next 24 hours and only costs 20 United States dollars. This price will obviously change and vary depending on where you currently live, such as if you live in the EU, this price may be different than those who live in the United States, so keep that in mind. The pack features three skins and three back blings, which is a really good like price for a bundle. Just simply $20 for three skins and three back blings, not that bad. And speaking of things that will come out soon that you can purchase, on Thursday, July 30th at 8pm Eastern Time, you'll be able to purchase the Envision Outfit, the Party Diva Outfit, the Party MVP Outfit, the Party Star Outfit, and the Nightlife Outfit. Along with these, you'll also be able to purchase the Back Scratcher Back Bling and the Light Knives Pickaxe. Will you be picking up any of these skins or cosmetics? Let me know in the comments down below. Our next stop relates to free cosmetics you can get for simply logging into Fortnite and playing the game. Starting tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Time until the 29th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, you can log in to receive the Verve emote. Which, if you didn't see yesterday's video, the emote was created by the winner of the TikTok Emote Royale competition. After this emote goes away, however, there is a second free reward awaiting you exactly 24 hours later. By logging into Fortnite anytime from Thursday, July 30th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time to Saturday, August 1st at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, you will receive the free Music Reactive After Party Wrap. It's honestly crazy how many free rewards we've been given so far this year, and a lot of them relate to Party Royale. So thank you so much, Party Royale, for all these free rewards. And of course, a free reward for Party Royale isn't without a concert. So, after the showing on the 28th for We The People, More Than A Vote, there is going to be a concert happening in Party Royale. And this is th exactly three days after the showing, we'll be getting a new concert, which is called the Diplo Presents Higher Ground. Now, this is going to be at the main stage instead of the big screen, and this concert is quote-unquote a deep house musical show featuring trance-inducing sophisticated beats. According to Fortnite, this will be a full 30 minute long show and we'll have a re-airing of it on Monday, August 3rd at, at 9pm Eastern Time. You can go to Fortnite.com slash Party Royale to figure out what the concert times are in your current time zone. Our last stop on the battle bus is the water levels. Earlier today, the water level lowered once again. On the left, we see the old water level, and on the right, we see the new water level. Now, not much honestly changed except for slurpy swamps, dirty docks, camp cod, and weeping woods becoming more available to roam inside of and around. We will be having two more water levels after this, however, for the season. The second to last water level decrease is happening on July 30th at 3 a.m. Eastern Time, so enjoy the water while you can and make sure to surf up before we fully decrease back to the water levels from Chapter 2, Season 2. How do you feel about the water levels actually lowering, by the way, champs and champettes? Because it's interesting, at the start of the season, it seemed like it was a completely new map, everyone loved it because the water levels had been at their very highest, and there was a lot of water to roam around in. Which water level was your guys' favorite, and which one was your least favorite out of all the ones that have been leaked? I'm just kind of curious, leave your comments and just ideas down below and talk to each other about it. In my opinion, I preferred when the water was pretty much fully up because it just made it feel like a brand new map. And now, once we reach the final stage, it will just feel like the exact old map from Chapter 2 Season 2, except with one or two changed P POIs. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed your ride on the battle bus, but it's time to hop on out. Have a great day or night battling it out. I'm your friendly bus driver, Fire Monkey, and I'm signing out. Peace.